In July of 1893, a young African-American man named James Carnish got into a bar fight and was stabbed in his heart. An injury like this meant sure death, if not from the wound itself, then from the resulting infection. Cornish was rushed to Providence Hospital in Chicago, close to death. Providence Hospital and Training School Association was established by an African-American surgeon named Daniel Hale Williams. His insistence on antiseptic and sanitary procedures made him highly regarded and contributed to his high success rate in treating patients. When Williams saw his patient's chest wound, he knew he needed to operate or Cornish would bleed to death. After opening his chest, Williams saw the puncture wound in the sac around the heart, sutured it up, applied antiseptic procedures, and closed his chest. Thanks to Daniel Hale Williams, James Cornish walked out of Providence Hospital and lived another 50 years. It was the first ever successful open heart surgery. <laughs>